I just don't want to fuck it up anymore because oh my god. But look at my skin. So I'm back with another video. So in today's <coughs> Anyways, so I know it's been a minute. Um I know I've been ghosting. I know I do this. I need to stop doing this. I need to stay consistent. I've been looking a little hit for these past couple days. So your girl has been on standby. I don't play that. I don't Mm -hmm. So I definitely am sorry that I've been slacking. I want to do this skincare collection first And then I also have another surprise for you. I had also bought the Kylie skin So um make sure you guys stay tuned but honey honey Sis came through, Riri came through for your girl. She came through on one of her faves. I gotta be because, bitch, she sold out. She sold out now. I'm super excited because I was waiting for her to drop this. You know I love me some Riri, like, that's my sis. So what I wanted to do in this video, if you guys already seen the title, I'm going to be trying out Fenty Skin for one whole week. So today is Monday. I'm going to try it tonight at nighttime and then tomorrow I'll probably try it in the morning because I want to see how it like holds up throughout the day, not just like while I'm sleeping. I know that in the most of the videos she tried it on at nighttime. So we're going to try it tonight at night and then tomorrow we're going to try in the morning. I'm going to see which I really like better and then I'll stick with whichever one I like better for the whole week we are gonna be doing one week guys I, I I just have faith in this like I just know that my skin is gonna be flourishing by the end of this week because come on like my sis is not making no bullshit bitch <laughs> but I'm super excited to see how everything smells I can't wait to see the packaging this is a box that it came in uh, but I'm gonna open it and show you like as far as the entire unboxing because I want to give you guys the deets. And before we even get into anything, I'm going to need you to make sure that you make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment below of what other skincare collections that you guys want me to try out. I have sensitive dry slash combination slash. <laughs> all of the above type of skin so uh, i definitely want to give you guys a review on everything based on my skin so i'm letting you guys know i have i have combination skin i guess you could say but the majority of the time i have dry skin dry sensitive skin as you can see right now my skin is on it's bullshit it's pretty oily right now but it's dry and patchy in some areas um, i'm looking like a hot mess i'm fully aware of it so do not come for me in the comments please so let's get into this video okay so this is how it came. Let me make sure I take out everything. So, I thought it was going to come in a box. Did it come in a box? No. Okay. So, this is how it looks. So, this is how it looks. And so, the first thing we have is the Hydra Visor. And this is the Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. And it says that you can use every single day, no excuses, apply before makeup for the ultimate canvas. And then we have the Fat Water. So this is the Fat Water. And this is, I believe, the second step after you wash your face. And when I seen her do it for one of her videos, she patted into her face with her hands. So I'm not going to be really using, like, towels and stuff like that. So, and the last thing I have is a total cleanser. And this is basically the first step. So, and I love that the tops, they don't have, uh, they're like the turn tops. Like, you turn it. There's not, like, you know, pulling it off, getting it all over the place. So, I really like that. But, yeah, I want to see how everything smells right now. Because I know she said that I believe the fat water has this, this fruit from the Barbados. And this is how you turn it, guys, just so you know. When you do get yours, you just turn it. The light is too fucking bright. So, you just turn it like this. So this is basically, this is the soap, this is the fat water, and then this is the moisturizers. You can buy them separately, I believe, but I brought them all together. So all together, I paid $81 for this. Jesus Christ. Damn. 
So yeah, I paid $81 for this whole kit. And I could have swore I paid less. I thought I paid less for this. It was $75 and then shipping was $6. Okay, yeah, so I paid $80 for it. But wait, I thought shipping was free. Somebody ain't doing the math right. Oh, the sales tax is six dollars okay but um individually the fat water is 23 dollars the moisturizer is 29 dollars and then the cleanser is 21 dollars if you guys want to buy them singly you guys can definitely do that as well and try and incorporate like what you guys use a lot of the time you can't really take risks if you know how your skin is going to react to something i just want to smell this before and i want to see how it comes out too this is the consistency of it Oh, it smells so good like it smells so good I'm not even dragging it so let's see how the fat water smells is this I think it's like a regular bottle <gasps> Fuck. yeah I don't think I opened that the right way so the top for the fat water is like that too let's see how that smells smells like the soap too actually the soap and the fat water have the same similar smell so i'm thinking they have like a lot of ingredients in common yeah it literally smells like the soap and it, they both smell good guys and let's smell this moisturizer um sis can you come out and it says okay so so i guess it's like a two-piece kind of thing because i know that you could refill these this is kind of like the canister for it and then this is pretty much the moisturizer um it seems pretty small like it's not like a big amount okay so this is how you do it and then this is the moisturizer i'm gonna show you guys without the shit being so motherfucking bright there you go and the bottle the lotion bottle shows you on the side as well how to take the lotion in and out so it's like a refillable thing so when you do order more of the lotion all you got to do is take this part out and just put the new one in and it's like basically like a holder for the lotion which i think is super cool and it's probably super eco-friendly too so this is the moisturizer fat water cleanser and so far everything smells amazing so um i just wanted to read to you guys because i do see that this has an active ingredients part on the back of this of the moisturizer the active ingredients are homo there's nine percent homo salate um 4.5 percent octosalate and three percent of of avo Avo benzone. So just so you guys know, um, you guys can definitely look those up. But I do know that those are a lot of ingredients that are usually in sunscreen. So it's nothing too serious. So I am just going to start with this cleanser. I wonder if I should like wet my face. She didn't do it on a wet face. So I'm just going to put the um, cleanser on my hand. Oh god, I'm making a mess. So this is how it looks. And I'm just going to rub it into my skin. And it feels really nice. And I know she didn't use too much, but I have a fat face. My face is way fatter than Rihanna's, so I'm gonna need like one more drop to get my forehead. My five head, actually. Like the the soap itself feels like so soothing. I don't know if I should have wet my face first. I don't think it would have made a difference. But this stuff smells amazing like amazing so i'm gonna wash this off and i'll be right back okay so i'm back so wow God, i just went swimming bitch okay so i'm back so i just finished washing my face i just washed the soap the cleanser off my face and i'm just gonna dry my face with a t-shirt um i like to dry my face with a t-shirt just because i don't like using um a towel i just feel like it's too rough on my skin so i'm just gonna dry my face and i like to pat my face dry so this is my face right now so like I said I have really dry patchy skin um, so I'm really curious to see how my skin is gonna be at the end of this week but so far like I love how my face feels my face feels fresh right now so I'm gonna go in with the fat water now and I'm gonna use my hands to do this and put this into my skin and it doesn't come out too fast so that's how it looks and it's 
you know not like it's not gooey so I'm just gonna pat this into my skin I just love the smell of it and I think I put too much because literally my face feels like a slip and slide right now and my skin has been so patchy like I don't know if you guys can see on camera probably because of the lighting you can't but my skin like as I'm looking in the mirror right now like my skin is patchy here it's patchy here my whole bridge of my nose I'm just letting it the fat water dry I mean this is it's supposed to like I'm guessing the base is water which is why it's called fat water and guys I just feel like my face feels super fresh right now like it feels really fresh so I'm gonna go in now with the moisturizer okay you see how many times I just had a pump right so make sure you give it some time before you think it's broken oh and it's pink guys my lights are way too bright because you guys can't see shit and I'm just going to do some dots you know you know okay once again I think I put too much and this is supposed to be like a sunscreen too and I can't remember the last time I put sunscreen on so this is actually gonna be super good for me oh just feeling lovely okay so she said in her video that this lotion doesn't like give you that strobing like streak that sunscreen does I mean it's really not but you really have to moisturize it into your skin so that it doesn't because I do feel like if you just were to let it sit on your skin it will do that but this is like my skin feels really refreshed right now I do look a little greasy which I don't like like I like when my skin just looks matte but I mean I'm going to bed so yeah I don't think it really matters I don't know I really don't like how greasy my skin feels with this i don't know it's just me um i do feel like i do look fresh I look like a cocoa butter baby i love the smell of everything like everything smells bomb so um that's a plus too but uh yeah so far out of everything right now that i think i like the most i think it is the fat water because i feel like the fat water just gives you like that refreshed like glow to your skin so i really do like that so i'm gonna get ready for bed um i do usually put this cream on my skin um that my dermatologist recommended me to put on if my skin starts to break out i'm not gonna incorporate anything that i usually use on my face but yeah i think i'm just gonna skip out of it and just see what rihanna can do i just want this to be you know a full review i don't want to incorporate any of the stuff that I usually put on my face because I want this to be raw. So yeah, we're gonna do this all week. I'm not gonna try anything else. I'm just gonna use strictly Fenty and we're gonna see how this goes. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay guys, sorry, I know my voice sounds a little raspy right now. So um, it is the next day um, and I wanted to make sure that I stay on top of this so I want to show you guys how my face looks first thing this morning I just wanted to show you guys how my skin is looking right now um off the wake up um literally um I was sweating last night in my sleep I don't know why but um uh, my skin is looking okay as of right now I haven't had any like bad reaction to it yet my chin gets dry on its own so I don't think it's anything because of that I didn't put the cleanser and stuff on my face yet I'm gonna brush my teeth and then wash my face so um I'm gonna do everything. I wanna show you guys me doing everything. I'm probably gonna bring you guys with me to the bathroom because I want you guys to see that I'm really doing this. I don't want anybody to think I'm faking. So yeah, come on, let's go wash our face.
good morning so today is day three today's day three i just woke up so this is my skin as of today i'm gonna show you guys like in the natural light because this camera is making me too orange and yeah but yeah so this is my face as of right now i used it yesterday in the morning as you guys seen and i think I'm going to keep doing it at, I think I'm going to keep doing it in the morning time. I was trying to figure out if I want to do it in the morning or at night, but my face goes through the most shit during the day. I don't know. I kind of want to just do it at night because like you guys can see, like I have a lot of patchy spots on my face because I have dry skin. So I'm thinking that I should um come back at night because i was gonna get up and wash my face with the fenty this morning but i don't know this wasn't there yesterday i know that for a fact and i don't know if that's because i did my makeup because i filmed a hair video yesterday but um my skin is kind of being stupid and i don't want to put it through no more pressure right now so i think i'm gonna actually come back tonight and uh do it before bed yeah, I think I'm going to do it before bed because I really just, because I'm just really nervous how my skin is going to keep reacting. I really think this is from my makeup. I hope it's not from the skincare, but um, I just think this is because of my makeup. And I have really dry skin, like I said earlier. Um, I have super dry skin and I just don't want to fuck it up anymore because, oh my god, like, this is not cute. And it's like, they're... They're like smooth patchy like it's literally like as if my skin just is like patchy but I don't know I'm just I'm looking crazy right now I didn't think I was looking this crazy until I like started to look at myself in the camera but the light is shining like so much in my room this window will never let me live that's why I wake up so fucking early but yeah I'm gonna come back tonight and apply the soap to my face see how my skin reacts because you're a little nervous and yeah i don't have time for the bullshit nope so i'll see you guys tonight when i get ready for bed good morning okay so today is day three and uh this is how my skin is looking um my skin is patchy right here but that's just because my skin is always like that in the summertime um i have a lot of like hyperpigmentation but overall yeah, like I said, I really feel like the fat water is moisture. It's really, like, toning my skin. Um, I really like it out of everything in there, and it smells so good. But, um, yeah, so today's day three that we're doing the Fenty Skin. So I'm gonna, um, it's the morning time. I'm gonna do it in the morning, I think, because being that there's SPF in the moisturizer, I want to make sure I'm putting that on before I go throughout the day um she does use it at nighttime like I said in the beginning but I want to try it in the morning a couple times more but yeah guys so it's day three um, so I'm about to uh wash my face and get ready because because I have to go pay a speeding ticket I got pulled over on the highway yesterday so yeah I'm about to get ready so let's go wash our face then dip me Right 
damn i be looking oof, i'm looking raggedy i'm looking so raggedy hey guys so it is day four so this is my skin currently i want to give you guys like a close-up okay. so this is my skin currently right now um it looks it's doing pretty good like i think i'm flourishing right now i sure do um minus the fact that i've been drinking wine and brownies um my skin's doing all right so i just wanted to do it tonight i was gonna do it in the morning this morning but i had an interview and i didn't really have time to film but i wanted to make sure that this is consistent so um i decided i'm gonna do it tonight at night time um i'm gonna do it before i go to bed because as you can see i'm about to go to bed just so y'all know i'm not bullshitting it's really night time so yeah today is day four we halfway there this skin is looking popping thank you riri because honey oh my god girl you're looking good today y'all yes my skin is glowing right now like pimple wear minus this one that's been like trying to come and go because of my birth control but besides that honey my skin is looking right <laughs> that good up skin boo so yeah we're about to go wash our face so come on so i'm back it's day five um i hit my nail this morning i'm like in this, i just know this is gonna be the start to a bad fucking day but yeah so we're back um this is day five with fenty skin and just look at my skin guys a difference from how my skin was on day one because my skin was really dry and patchy on the first day like everything is just going away now like if you guys seen during the week um my skin was like really discolored over here and i feel like the fat water honestly has been like toning my skin and my skin feels like butter honey do y'all see the skin so um I'm getting ready for work so i'm gonna uh wash my face i'm gonna do all the steps like we've been doing all week and yeah, and then I'm gonna get ready for work. So, uh, let's go. As you guys can hear, it's the morning time. I slept great. Amazing, actually. But every time I sleep with my scarf, 
I get a dent in my forehead. That's why I have this on right now because I'm trying to get rid of that dent. So yeah, guys, it is day six. Yeah, so it's day six. Um, I'm so proud of myself. I've been so con- Ooh, Jesus. And I think my eyebrows are still on. Yeah, my eyebrows are still on. But look at my skin, guys. Look at my skin. This is wild. Like, what? My skin looks amazing. Um, I cannot believe how good it looks. Like, and you guys, you guys could see. I'm about to literally, like, put a video right beside me. You guys could see how my face was patchy on day one and how dry it looked. And how just, like, and I slept with my eyebrows on last night. And I had mascara on. So, I slept, with the, I slept with makeup on last night, and my skin still looks amazing. I have been drinking water, too, but literally I have not put anything on my face besides the Fenty. I've been using it every single day, but I have not used anything else. Um, that day that I ended up doing it at nighttime again, I only washed my face with water in the shower. I cannot believe this. I'm just so shocked how nice my skin looks like it looks incredible I just cannot believe this so we are on day six we got one more day to make it a week honestly I just cannot believe that I haven't even had to like manipulate this whole collection like I've literally done this and nothing besides this like just this you did that sis you did that and um don't be asking me about my robe because i know i've been wearing different robes every morning but i got robes for days and i just love waking up and putting a robe on it's just something about it i do it every morning i always put a robe on um period i literally look like a sunbeam like literally like a ray of sunshine i just look so refreshed and just incredible like i'm just so shocked enough of me talking let's go wash our face Good morning! So today is officially day seven and we are officially on our last day of Fenty Skin. I am just so shook guys. You guys see my skin from day one versus now and this is just like this is just crazy. It's so crazy to me like my skin is just like there's not anything on here like straight canvas like 
I, th I told you my sis know what it do. Don't, don't come for her. Like, this is crazy. I'm just so shook, guys. Like, my skin is so clear. Like, I'm just shocked. And, like, I was surprised just because, like, how I told you guys, I have extremely sensitive skin. And I have, like, hyperpigmentation. Like, most of the time it comes to the same area. And it's usually my T-zone. And then, like, around my lips. Um, But, girl, like, my sis got me right. Didn't they tell you the Didn't tell you? This is crazy. Like, I'm just so shook. Like, but, um, so yeah, it's the morning time. It's day seven. And, um, we are going to go wash our face one last time. And then I'm going to come back and give you guys, like, my initial review of this entire skincare line. I just want to tell you guys as far as, like, the do's and don'ts, what you guys should know about it before buying. Because, like I said, the whole collection is pretty expensive. It's almost $100. So, I just want to make sure I'm throwing you guys in the right direction just because, like I said, I'm basing my experience off of my skin type. And my skin type is dry and patchy and I have a lot of eczema and hyperpigmentation. Take that into consideration so I'm letting you guys know ahead of time what type of skin I have. So we're going to go wash our face and then I'm going to come back and give you guys my final review. So let's go. Mama told me, mama had to sell, mama told you, oh, sell me same, buy same, color t-shirt, what, 1995, 2005, I seen it with my eyes, seen it. dope still alive, dope. real mob ties, oh. real frog eyes, oh. real old pies, oh. all time high, I do it for the culture, culture. they gon' fight like vultures, vultures. way back when, Trapping not Toyota. I'ma hit the gas. Twelve can't pull me over. Twelve space coupe, Quavo, Yoda, pouring, drinking soda. I get high on my own, sir. Heard you gon' clone, sir. Stop all that blessing, young nigga. Don't wanna go there. Never been a gopher, but I always been a soldier. Young niggas in the cut, posted like a vulture. Diving off the stage in the crowd, it's a mosh pit. Yeah, shawty bad, but she broke and she don't own shit. Okay guys, so I'm back from washing my face. So um, I just want to do the little rundown with you on my initial review from everything. So as far as the scent on this skincare, I think the scent is so light but so fruitful. Like I really love how this stuff smells because it does not smell strong like at all. It smells really fruity and I think that she was trying to make it smell as much as that fruit that she was talking about. Um, I'm pretty sure like that was the main thing, the main scent that she wanted throughout the skincare line because like I said, the soap, the toner, and the um lotion they all have the same common smell to it i really love that smell it smells super good and it's not like too strong because i know like i said sensitive skin like we can't we can't do certain stuff so um being that it's really not strong you should have no problem with it if you're like me and you have sensitive skin another thing that i could also say that i would take in mind with this skincare line is I know that you're able to use it at nighttime. The soap is really cleansing as far as makeup. Like, you could wear a straight face of makeup and use just the soap and all your makeup will come off. But preferably me, especially because I don't wear makeup every day, um, I would definitely, my and like my personal opinion on it, I would apply it in the morning time. You can apply it twice a day, but me, I just don't like putting too much shit on my face. Um, all day just because of how my skin is you can definitely wear the skincare line twice a day but for me I just feel like wearing it in the morning worked best for me because the SPF was actually really able to work within my skin when you think about it logically like if you put SPF and all this stuff on while you're sleeping, it's really not going to benefit you much because you're sleeping. When you're putting this stuff on your face during the day, you're allowing it to like work within your skin throughout the day. So I said in the beginning how I was going to figure out if I wanted to do it in the morning time or at night time. And I think I'm going to stick with doing it in the morning time just because I just feel like I get a better result from wearing it throughout the day than wearing it at night time. I feel like when I did wear it at night time, I woke up and my face was really greasy and the lotion leaves 
leaves a somewhat greasy residue but not too much because as you can see right now my face looks super greasy when I had first finished washing my face but now it's like matting down a little bit but when you wear this lotion at night I do feel like when you sweat and mixing with the lotion it does make you wake up with like a greasy look so um like I said that's ex that's why I decided that I wanted to wear it in the morning time for the toner um I definitely think if you're scared to try certain stuff on your face or like take a risk on your skin um and you don't want to try the cleanser or you don't want to try the lotion I would definitely 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 incorporate this toner in your in any of your skincare routine whether you're using a different soap or a different lotion incorporate this toner cuz girl this toner is no joke like the fat water is amazing I honestly feel like that's what ultimately helped my um my patchiness throughout the beginning because like I said in the beginning um, my chin was patchy my nose was patchy around here was super patchy and I really do feel like the toner helped calm that down because there is not a patchy spot in sight okay nothing definitely if you can incorporate the toner even if you aren't willing to try the lotion or the soap the toner is a super great investment I definitely will be buying the toner again and I also do think that when you do use the toner use your hands don't use a towel don't use a cotton pad just use your hands. I definitely feel that using my hands was the best way for me to like actually get it into my skin and she also said herself in her review that she used her hands she used her hands when she used the soap the toner everything was just her hands because I feel like your hands don't pick up your hands don't pick up lint your hands are able to just put stuff into your skin and just leave it there without leaving any type of crust or residue I definitely think that when you're drying your face try using a t-shirt you might actually end up liking it but make sure you use like a cotton t-shirt or something that's not like linty and a little really goes a long way for this product like you don't need to be putting a ton on your hands especially when this shit is $81 just put a dab of whatever you're using on your face you do not need to pour a gallon like I was doing in the beginning I put way too much lotion on I put way too much toner on I was just drenching my face but I started to realize when I used less I actually got a better result so um um, definitely don't be heavy-handed when you're using this product so um I think that's really everything I could say about this skincare line I have no complaints like I was really scared in the beginning because I really did not think my skin was going to go with this whole trying this out like I'm not somebody who could try stuff out on their skin like it's a hit or miss with me but this this skincare line really showed out and I definitely recommend this to anybody who wants to give this skincare line a try um like I said 20 times, I have sensitive skin. So being that I do and I was able to do this and my skin not react like as bad as I thought it was going to, A++, plus plus plus. like literally you did that. So um, yeah, I think that's all I really have. And like I said, I didn't incorporate anything throughout this entire week. I used straight Fenty and if I wasn't using Fenty, I was using water. I did not put nothing on my face. I didn't even use the cream that my dermatologist um, prescribes me when my hyperpigmentation does flare up I literally use straight Fenty and this is literally the raw uncut results like I did not manipulate nothing within this whole entire process yeah I better cop up for my sis like this is really crazy and I'm just so shook so um that's all I have for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed spending this whole week with me trying out the skincare line and um, I have another skincare line that I'm actually trying out in a couple weeks too um, I'm probably gonna start that on Monday because I just I need a break right now but yeah besides that I think that's it and I love you guys so much don't forget to make sure that you like comment and subscribe and let me know down in the comments which Fenty skin you're planning on trying so I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video bye